Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This is going to be a tutorial on command line basics um, going through the operating system of Ubuntu 10.04 LTS. So let's get started. I'd like to start out with a few basic commands. The first one we can do is uh, who That will tell you which user you are or logged in as. Uh, next one can be who. It tells you who's logged in to your uh, computer. Uh, the next one we can do is HO, which is uh, who again. All right. Who and W both tell you the same thing. Uh, who seems to be a little bit more uh, in depth in the information. Um, let's see. Another command will be ls for list. And we want to list a directory. Okay. Um, the the um, the words you see in green will be files, and the words you see in blue are directories. And then, once we have too much on the screen and we want to get rid of it, you can just clear the screen by typing in clear. cleared screen. Um, if you want to see which directory you're in, you type in pwd, which is path to working directory. It tells us we're in the home uh, slash mxwil directory. Okay. And uh, let's see. Let's say we want to switch to a different directory. So let's go ls, list the directory, and see which one which directories we have in this directory. Let's go to uh, desktop. So you would do a CD which is uh, change directories space DE and then you press the tab which completes the rest of that command and we'll go to the desktop directory. Press enter clear the screen then do a ls to list the directory or the contents of the directory and that's what we have in the directory. If you want to see which files or directories are uh, belong to which to which user and what their permissions are, then you would type in ls space dash l, then press enter. And as you can see, you'll see over to the far left hand side the permissions of the directory or folder, and then you'll see the username and the user group and then various other information about the files. Alright, then we'll clear the screen. Let's go over the app commands. The apt, uh, apt get will be the first command that we use and this is a command it's, uh, it's, uh, it's what you use when you want to download Debian packages or software. Okay and uh, usually when you do this you want to you want to use the command sudo which is sudo and that's uh, so that you can use temporary root rights for downloading applications onto your desktop you may or may not need this from time to time depending upon the package but uh, you'll do a sudo at apt dash get space install and then the package name. Uh, let's see, what package do we want to try and get? Uh, let's t uh, type in VIM, and that stands for, that's a text editor, VIM, and then press enter. It prompts you for a password. Put in your password, then press enter. And I already have VIM installed on my uh, operating system so it didn't reinstall it. But that's how you would install a package onto an Ubuntu system. Um, another thing, another apt command that you want to do is if you want to search in the repositories to see what packages of software we have in there or that is in there. Um, a, rep a repository is a database of uh, packages that you could download onto your Ubuntu system. But to search those repositories you do a sudo apt dash cache space 
search and then the, the package or software name which we'll go ahead and search for Vim. Press enter and you'll see different various uh, information about the VIM package. Okay, we'll just uh, hit clear. Now, since that went by real quick and you wanted, you didn't get to see a lot of it, if you wanted to see every, pa every page that comes out and slow it down, you can type in the same information, hit space, type in pipe, and that's the button that's up at the top next to the plus sign, then hit space, and then LESS, -S, and that will slow it down to where you can see every page, every listed page. Okay, now this is just the first page. To see the next page on your keyboard, you hit the uh, space button, the space bar, sorry, and then it'll go to the next page. Then, when you want to see another page, you then you hit the space bar again. Eventually, it'll take you to the end of that uh, that file or the end of the information about that uh, the VIM. Now, if you want it to go back then you hit the B button on your keyboard. That'll take you back to the previous page. If you want to go back again, continue to hit the B until you go all the way up to the beginning. And then when you're done looking at the information and you want to and you want to get out of it on your keyboard, you hit the Q for quit. Now you're back at your command prompt. All right. Some other commands that may help you is uh if you want to see the processes that are working in the background you can type in PS for process then enter that'll tell you what process you have working in the background or or any active um, uh, sessions and, and applications that you have open so as you can see we have the bash up and <laughs> obviously the process now to see the first 20 processes that are working you can do top command that's just top press enter and that shows you the first 20 processes that are working that shows the PID number processor ID the user that's using it and then various other information that you can look at and see and then to get out of that again just press the Q on your keyboard for quit and it takes you out then to clear the screen we'll go ahead and clear the screen now, next thing we probably want to do is see about making a, a folder or a directory, they're both the same thing, and a file within that directory. So, let's go ahead and make a folder, and the command for that is mkdir space, and then the folder name. Let's just put tes for test, enter, do an ls to see the contents inside that folder, and as you can see down at the bottom, right hand side we have the folder called test now let's switch over to check to the test folder by doing a CD for change directory space TE and then a tab to complete out that command and then enter clear the screen LS to see if there's anything in it it's not because we just made it okay now let's go ahead and start by doing a simple text file we're gonna create a text file and we're going to do that with a text editor. The text editor we're going to use is VIM. Okay, you just type in VIM space the text name and then TXT for text. Then press enter, and we are now inside our newly created text test uh, uh, file, which is a text editor. Now, to start putting information in and typing, you just type insert button on your keyboard and then just start typing all sorts of info. Alright, now if you go ahead and type the information in there. If you mess up or you want to do something different, you can hit the backspace. type of information that you want. If you want to modify it and not backspace, but you just want to replace the information, 
you go to the spot where you want to start and on your keyboard press the insert button once more and as you can see on the bottom it typed play, replace and then you just replace you want. Alright? When you're done modifying it, putting stuff in, doing whatever you want to, uh, you, to get out of it and save it, you want to press on your keyboard the escape key, and then down at the bottom you'll see what you're typing. We want to type colon, W for save, Q for quit. So you want to put those in at the same time, all in small caps. Colon, W, Q. Enter, ls as you can see your folder is in there okay now a few other commands we want to go over uh, such as copy move and remove folder to copy a, to copy a, uh, a text all you got to do is type in cp the text the text name or folder or the uh, file name and then press tab to complete the uh, command and then the name of the uh, file that you want to copy which will be test cp.txt alright do an ls and as you can see we have two folders we have the original one which we have two files the original one which is test and then the copied one which is test cp okay and it's a complete copy to go ahead and look at the contents on the inside of this uh, file, just type in CAT for cat for con con can concatenate and then the uh, folder name and then press enter. And there it is. Okay, now let's go ahead and clear this, do a little ls to see the folders. Now, if you want to change a file name, you would just type in rm for, no I'm sorry, you would type in mv and then the uh, file name and then the name you want to change it to which is uh, change test.txt okay do a, a list and it's been changed alright now if you want to delete that folder then you just do an rm space ch test enter and that folder has been deleted or that file has been deleted now if you want to remove the whole folder then you exit out of it by doing a cd space dot dot and that will take you to the previous folder you were in before go back on the desktop folder do an ls test is in there so we want to remove the test directory or folder so you type in rm space t e s enter it says you can't remove it because it is a directory now what you need to do is type in rm for removing it space hyphen r r f space then the folder RM is what you use to delete it and then hyphen RF R stands for recursive F is stands for forceful so we're going to forcefully remove that folder Ta uh, type in or uh, press your enter button when you're done and that folder has been cleared it has been deleted as you can see it's no longer in that folder alright I think that's going to do it for uh, now. Thank you for uh, looking at my video, and have a good day.